Our project is called Speak Up, Step Up, UP, and there's lots of up at University of Portsmouth. Um, and it's um, addressing bullying and harassment generally, and with an um, extension of the model to help people to address hate crime and so, sort of conflict generally um, using restorative approaches. Portsmouth University has got very strong vision that it's um, put forward in recent years with our a new vice chancellor came in I think four years ago now and it's it's got a very strong commitment to widening participation and to being an inclusive um, institution. We've got a dignity and respect policy that should have been launched prior to changing the culture and a very harmonious campus, not very many reports of bullying, harassment or incidents, but a knowledge from the wellbeing service point of view that nevertheless those incidents are happening, of course, because they happen everywhere in, in places where people come together. The grant is, is being used in a number of ways, so we've been quite ambitious in what we're trying to achieve. The first um, important place that we are spending it is on some national work on the important issue of staff student sexual misconduct. Postgraduate students are potentially more vulnerable to staff student sexual misconduct because of the, the close relationship between a supervisor and a student who's um, being supervised for research. The a power that a supervisor has in um, a postgraduate student's future career if they're going to go on into an academic career. Um, so we want to be ahead of the game um, to make sure that what, we, what we've got in place makes for um, a, a really safe, positive, constructive environment.